Hello all, welcome to the video on waterfall dialogue. In this video, I will be teaching you what are how the waterfall dialogue works. So in my last video in Microsoft Word Framework Part 3, while going through the code walkthrough, we had seen the implementation of waterfall dialogue. So now we will see what are the prompts available in waterfall dialog and how to implement those prompts and have the conversation going so c sharp corner have beautifully explained different prompts and how to use them so in my last video we had seen text prompt date time prompt and confirm prompt so there are other prompts available so if the text prompt is applied then we are expecting the user to return a string value same for number and so on for the choice prompt we can provide user with a collection of lists like with a collection of values in a list and user can select any value confirm prompt we have seen that it provides two values yes and no that is true or false now if at all user is not returning the correct values suppose if the, we want the user to return a number but he is returning a string so we can implement a retry prompt logic so let's go into the flow diagram so the bot will begin the question and if at all the question is asking us to return a number value and user is trying to give a string value then the condition fails and it returns to the beginning question itself saying that please enter a number value so there can be a retry prompt message available or if the retry prompt message is not available you can show the same message again suppose if the user returns the number value and validation passed so it is validating whether data type is correct provided by the user so it will move to the next question similarly the flow goes on suppose here user bot is trying to ask the user to return a date time value and user is returning some different format some if it is giving some number random number or if it is giving a string which is not recognized by date time format so the validation gets failed and it will ask the question again please give the proper date otherwise if it is in proper format date format then it will go to the next question and so on till the till you terminate the dialogue in here so the first step is username async so let's go to the first step username async so this step will be executed first so it will ask user hello please enter a name so this is like text prompt so we are expecting user to give in a string value so next question get user name async so next it will ask the phone number of the user and if the phone number is not in valid format then this will be the message shown retry prompt message that is enter valid mobile number the third step is mobile number async
so we got the information over here and we are saving the information in mobile number so next it is giving this values in a list and will be sending as a choice prompt so this is a choice prompt we are sending in a list and we are asking user to select from the list if at all user is giving some random value then retry prompt will be initiated please select from the list next is select language list we are storing the information which has you which user has selected from the language list we are storing into the choice now we are asking the user to select a date and date is we are using the date prompt that is here date time prompt we will be using now next step is date time async so we are storing the value in a date time whatever user has given if the information is in correct format then it will get stored otherwise the retry prompt will be initiated in the previous step itself and finally we are ending the dialog yeah that's it thank you so much